What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Woo, back with some more on the block news, man. Before I even get this shit started, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, man. Not later, but right now. Also, hit the links in the description. Get acquainted with everything I got going. I got music, I got merchandise. I got music, I got merchandise, all that shit. Social media, too. But let's check the story, y'all, man. Teen found guilty of deliberately crashing car into brick wall at 100 miles per hour to fatally harm boyfriend, killing him and another passenger. 19-year-old Mackenzie Shriller from Strongsville, Ohio, has been found guilty of murder after intentionally crashing a car into a brick building at a speed of 100 miles per hour, reports people. The incident resulted in the deaths of her boyfriend, Dominic Russo, and their friend, Davion Flanagan. Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Judge Nancy Margaret Russo convicted Shrilla on all 12 charges, including murder, aggravated vehicular, homicide, felony, felonious assault, and drug possession. The judge emphasized that this act was not reckless driving, but a deliberate act of murder. She had a mission and she executed it with precision, said Russo, who was not related to the victim. The decision was death. Trilla, who had exceeded the legal limit of her TAC in her system, now faces an automatic life sentence in prison. The conviction allows the possibility of parole. After 15 years, Trilla displayed uncontrollable sobbing as the judge delivered the verdict. Surveillance footage presented in court showed Shirilla driving at a normal speed before intentionally accelerating and crashing into a building. Prosecutors argue that this act was motivated by Shirilla's desire to end her turbulent relationship with Russo. There is no doubt that this happened because of the relationship with Dominic and the defendant's intent was clearly to end that. And she took everybody that was in the car with her. Cuyahoga County Prosecutor Michael O'Malley said after the verdict came down, three news reports. However, Shirilla's attorney argued that there was no clear evidence of intentionally and suggested that she may have lost control of the vehicle. Shirilla's mother has stated her intention to appeal the conviction. So let's talk about it. Man, listen, young lady. When you do the crime, be prepared to do the time. We don't care about you crying. Y'all can see by the picture. That ain't no act. She shitting bricks up in that courtroom. But listen, this this right here, this is a story for people in relationships in general. If y'all gonna argue, man, don't turn the car into a weapon. Don't put your hands on motherfuckers. Like, try to avoid this type of shit on the road. You feel me? Because motherfuckers can die just by a motherfucker doing, speeding up a little bit. Trying to turn the car, make the car turn. Motherfuckers could die. And as you see, that's what happened. She killed the, her, her boyfriend and she killed the friend. I don't know why the friend was in the car. What was his role in their relationship? Was he her friend, his friend? Because it sounded like he was just a third wheel in the car. You feel me? But... You know, recipe to the people that lost their lives. And this young lady, she's going to get what she deserves. We don't want to see that crime shit because let a black man or a black woman do some shit like that. We got to take it on the chin and we got to take the time too. So I don't feel sorry for anybody who, who made the decision to do something like this and people end up dead. You feel me? Like I said, you do the crime, you got to do the time. But let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Not later, but right now, my name is Young Woo. This is on the block news. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Young Woo back with some more on the block news, man. Before I even get this shit started, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell.